All right. Um, hello, everyone. We've got uh, 24 people on the call so far today, and I just wanted to thank you all for joining us. Um, we've got folks from all over the place joining today, and we're really excited about our first ever um, Change Day BC Catalyst meeting. Um, it sounds like people are still coming on the line. We've had four more people show up, so we'll just give it maybe another minute, and then we'll actually get started. started everyone we've got a ton of people on the line today so thank you so much for joining us um, this is our first team today of our eight day BC tablet and I'm gonna start by I think what we'll do is we'll maybe mute the lines we've got a bit of background noise if that's all right we'll just get things going um, just to make sure we can hear everyone on the line today um, so we're gonna get started here so far on the call we've got um, people from all over the place so we're gonna take a few minutes to introduce ourselves on a map shortly but I'll just take a second. My name is Colleen Kennedy. I am with the BC Patient Safety Council. Um, and I'm going to hand it over to Robin Speedy, who's also joining us today. Hi, everyone. My name is Robin, and I'm Leader of Innovation and Engagement here at the Quality Council. And last but not least, we've got Andy on the call today as well. Andy, do you want to quickly introduce yourself, too? Hi. Andy, I just realized I had to change your line. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Andy. I'm the Engagement and Campaign Specialist here at um, PSQC. Wonderful. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today on the call. We're really delighted to have our first Catalyst meeting. Um, for those of you who may not know this, um, we've had interest from over 100 people across the province to participate as Catalysts for Change Day BC. And we just find that so incredibly exciting in terms of some of the momentum around getting this going. Um, so today, uh, Robin, Andy, and myself are going to spend a few minutes. We're going to just have, we're doing our welcome right now, give you a brief WebEx orientation just to get you orientated to using WebEx for any of you who haven't used it before. We're going to talk a little bit around the overview and purpose of these webinars as we come together. Um, our goal is to make these meetings as interactive as possible, and ultimately these meetings are going to be all about you and you driving the content and a lot of the sharing that will go on. Today is going to be a little bit more informational at the start, and then we're going to open it up to some polls and discussion as we move forward. We're going to introduce a, a Facebook community that we've got up and running as well as our new Facebook group, and we'll talk a little bit more about when we'll meet again. Anyway, so thank you very much again to everyone. I'm going to hand it over to Robin now for a bit of orientation. Thanks, Colleen. Can everyone hear me okay? Okay, so um, it looks like many of you might be a little bit familiar with WebEx already, but we thought it might be a good idea just to take a minute or two to go over some of the basics around using the software because it's probably the way that we'll be gathering together by webinar in the future. So. Um, just a quick thing about logging in. Um, many of you are connected, it looks like, both with audio and online for visuals of the slides. Um, in the future, just a reminder, if you can avoid using a headset, that's helpful. We get a lot of feedback when people connect using a headset. So when you're dialing in to connect to the audio, best to use a landline phone if you can. At the top right of your screen, you can see a couple of icons there. So one of them is a little couple of little heads, and then there's a chat box. So those give you a list of who's all on the call, as well as an open chat box that we can use for communicating with each other by typing if you don't want to speak up, um, or if you're muted in some cases, or have a question, or things like that. So I uh, just wanted to point those out. You can click both of the icons at the top to either minimize or maximize that part. Um, the other thing is we've got uh, a couple of buttons here that you can see underneath the list of names. There's a check mark and an X and a little hand. So I just wanted to draw your attention to those. 
Um, so we might sometimes ask you some questions and try to ask if you agree or disagree with us. So as an example, I might say, do you think the Canucks will ever win the Stanley Cup? So let's practice now. If you agree that they will at some point in time win, click your check mark. And if you think it's never going to happen, click your X. So I'll just give everyone a second to do that there. Looking good. Oh, yeah, I think we've got a group of optimists here. A few X's, but uh, for the most part, it looks like people are feeling pretty positive. So that's good to see. So great. So that's just a little bit of practice with that, and we might uh, ask you to use that again in the future. Um, the other thing is, is at times you might have a question, and we certainly want these calls to be really interactive, so feel free to, at any point, if, um, like right now, we've got all of the lines muted, you want to ask a question, you can use that little hand icon there to the left of the check mark, just to let us know that you have something you want to ask, and then we can unmute you and have some discussion around that. The chat, as I mentioned already, is just a place for us to have open discussion in the text box. So you can use that, and um, there's a couple of features you can say to connect to all participants so that everybody can see what you say, or there's also a way to just connect with myself, Andy, or Colleen privately just through the host. So if there's something you just want to say without everyone seeing it, you can do it that way as well. And then finally, uh, we also use a whiteboard at times. So. Right now I'm just going to switch over to a map of BC, and this is another way that we can interact with each other. So if you're looking at the whiteboard, hopefully you can all see the map right now. At the top of the screen on the left, there's a couple of little buttons that you can press. So the T button will give you access to text if you want to write something out. And then you can also use this highlighter button, which is the little marker to the left of the colored box. So if you were to practice with this one right now, Choose a color in the color box and click the highlight marker and tell us where about in the province you're located. So I see a few people are writing in their names. That's fantastic. Um, another thing you can do is just put down um, a spot on that map from where you're from so we can see where everybody's connecting with us from today. Great. A lot of people from the Lower Mainland, but a few people from outside as well. Fantastic. Okay, so what we're really trying to do here is just show that we are a broad network of people and hopefully this will be one way that you can connect with each other and share some of your ideas around Change Day and different activities and events that you might be planning. So uh, we're really hoping to hear a lot from you and we're hoping that you'll connect with each other too. So we're all here for each other throughout this process. And I think with that, I will hand it back to you, Colleen. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Robin, for doing that orientation, and to everyone for joining the call today. It's nice to see that we've got some nice representation from across the province calling in this morning, or this afternoon, I guess it is now. Um, so really, as a group together, we are really doing something amazing here around Change Day, and we're just so excited about the interest and focus and level of involvement that we've had so far around Change Day. Um, Really, you know, as you know, and many of you have heard about Change Day from being at the forum or seeing the website, but we're going to give you a brief introduction to why we're doing it today. And, and really what we're doing is we're asking anyone involved in health and social community care to commit to making a change or trying something new to make our system better. And it's, it's that simple. And, and I think there's just power in that simplicity. For those of you who may not be aware, today is NHS Change Day, and they've had a 12-hour change-a-thon that started at midnight our time um, and ended just at noon today. And it's just incredible to hear all of the action that has come out of their Change Day, and they've really inspired us to, to do a Change Day here in British Columbia. And I feel really exciting. I'm just looking at the attendee numbers on this call right now. We have 50 people who've dialed in to help promote Change Day across the province. Just imagine how much potential change we can actually bring about as a result of this. So thanks for making the time to join us today and come together. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to go through just a few foundations around Change Day, um, starting with, you know, who can pledge. And we really want to emphasize that anyone can pledge in the system. So whether you're a patient, a resident, a client, you've got a family member, or anyone working in our health or social or community care system, anyone can make a pledge. There's no limitations on that. I think the really key thing about Change Day is that we're really trying to create something that is purely voluntary 
and that people choose a pledge that is meaningful to them and in their local context. And what they found in other change days that have happened across the world now is really keeping that voluntary focus, keeping that really um, non-prescriptive approach to change day has proven most successful, to really give them to people to follow and pledge where they're passionate. So I'm, I'm sure many of you know this, but we're just going to reiterate this today, is that the goal is to get 5,000 pledges. And we're trying to do that and have you know, our, our tagline for the campaign is one day, 5,000 pledges, unlimited possibilities. And we really see the possibilities in what Change Day can be, and so we're excited to share that. Um, now, some of us have actually popped this line into our signature file. So as one of the follow-ups for today's call, we can um, send you a sample um, Change Day right now. We can send you a sample um, tagline that can come to the group so that you can all use this in your emails if you want. So what people do is they put a little note in the bottom of their email signature and it basically has a little verb or advertisement about Change Day, which gives you a chance to promote it just in everyday use when you're sending out your emails. So we'll send an example off to you that you can possibly use. Um, we just had a question on the line about the presentation, and we'll definitely be sharing this presentation um, when we're done. We'll make sure it gets up on our site. So today we've brought people together. Um, really, the folks on the call, we've got 51 now, are the Change Day Catalysts across the province. And the intention of Catalysts are just people who have volunteered to be ambassadors for Change Day. So people on the call who are interested in, in truly um, helping to promote this in whatever way you're capable of doing, in whatever context. Maybe it's just speaking to your neighbor next door, or it might be on a broader scale within your larger organization. As a catalyst, we're really just asking you to join us. Um, we're going to have virtual meetings for the sake of coming together and, and share information with each other, and, and to really see how we can work together to promote Change Day and anything else that you want to do. And these meetings will ultimately be yours. Um, what they found is that in all of these campaigns, is, especially when we're trying to reach across such a huge geographic area, is one of the most important things is, is you, the people who are on the call right now, who have the ability to connect with the people who you're working with each and every day. And so these meetings are really your meetings. And so today we're going to spend the bulk of the time later on really asking you some questions. Um, how you want these meetings to be run, what you'd like out of them to make the most useful for you and make the most efficient use of your time. And it's really just an opportunity to connect. We're sharing a bit of overview information today on the call. Um, but as we move forward with these meetings, we're really hoping the meetings move towards you sharing with us. Um, what are some of the things you're doing? I, I, was, I, was, I was on a call, um, or I got an email yesterday from somebody who couldn't join the meeting today, and she wants to be a change catalyst. And she's from within Interior Health. And in Interior Health, they have something called skills fairs, where they go throughout the region and do um, clinical education um, for clinicians in each of the different hospitals. And she's actually setting up a table at each and every one of those skills fairs that she's attending to promote Change Day. And she'll be collecting pledges at those events. So it's a great example of, of something that somebody can do in the course of their regular work to help promote Change Day. So we're really hoping these meetings can provide an opportunity for us to share this information and for us to share with each other some of the great ideas and things that people are doing. So to help support Change Day, we've done a few things. Um, uh, for those of you who haven't checked it out yet, I really encourage you to go check out the Change Day BC website. Um, make your pledge when you're there. Invite others to make a pledge when you're there. But you can actually go online and access a wealth of information and resources relating to Change Day. And so we're really um, encouraging you to use this site. And if you have any comments or feedback about the site, please let us know. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, so right now, um, you can go onto the site, and you can make a pledge online on the site. Or we also have some wonderful pledge postcards, which we'll show you a bit later, that you can use to actually um, submit your pledge in the traditional mail approach, if that works better for you. So for Change Day right now, um, we, we did want to emphasize one thing, that when people go online to make a pledge for Change Day, you also have the option right now to join someone else's pledge. 
to like other people's pledges, and to share pledges. So if you're a Catalyst in your area and you want to promote Change Day, um, it's a great opportunity for you to go online and check out other pledges that have been made and sharing them with people and inviting them to join. So when you want to actually um, join, like, or share a pledge, it's as simple as actually clicking on the buttons within a pledge. So when you go into the site, um, you can click on a pledge and bring up the detail of that pledge. And once that's up, you can actually click on the little plus button. I'm pointing my arrow to it. I hope you guys can see that. I'll maybe use a little drawing tool so you can see what I'm pointing to. So you can actually use the join button here or do the little heart to say you like someone's pledge, or you can share their pledge. And sharing the pledge will let you share it across a number of different social media options. So if you want to post it on your Facebook page, or put something on Twitter, or send an email to somebody. So in addition to the website, we've developed a ton of resources to help support you. Um, and really, these resources have, are really meant to help you promote it back where you're working. Um, we've got a Getting Started Toolkit. We've got um, Change Day video. We've got PowerPoint presentations. We've got posters. Um, we've written up sample press releases and articles to help save you work. So if you want to put an article in your local newsletter, you can just take it and tweak it up and make it your own. Um, we're going to have buttons and lanyards and post-it notes. And they're all available for you to use to help promote Change Day BC. Now, I know a lot of you picked resources up at the forum. And those of you who weren't at the forum um, that want to get resources, you can absolutely order them on the site and use them and pick them up there as well. And we'll ship them right to you. So just as a sample, so we have got pledge postcards that's been built um, just to show you what some of these things look like. We've also got a Getting Started Toolkit. And this toolkit is really there for you to um, give you a little more information on getting started. So where to start, how to make a pledge, um, how to promote Change ABC if you want to do different activities. It includes things like an elevator speech for your media. This also includes some of those press release resources as well. And all of this material is available either for download from the website or you can actually order it. So we wanted to give you a really quick introduction to Change Day today, um, really to give you a chance just to give an overview for anyone who hasn't sort of heard much about it yet, um, just to know why we're doing Change Day and some of the resources and materials that are available. But really the focus of this call is to hear from you. I'm still going to hand it over to Robin now. We've got a few polls we're going to do with you. Okay, thanks, Colleen. So um, what we're going to do now is I am going to open a couple of questions with a few answers. The questions are up on the screen here. And we'd just like to get your feedback um, so we can know about planning moving forward and what works best for you. So the first question is, how, would, how often would you like to connect on these webinars? So can everyone see the poll there? Perfect. So some people are starting to answer. Every two weeks, every three weeks, once a month. And if you have an additional suggestion that's not on there, maybe just type it into the chat so we can capture that. OK, so um, it looks like we have about 20% of people haven't answered yet, so those might be some of the people that we have just joining by phone today, so that's okay. So it's looking to me like the consensus is every month. 64% uh, of people that are answering are saying that that might be good. So what we can do is we can schedule these once a month moving forward, and uh, we'll send you invitations for your calendar if that works. Colleen? That sounds great. Thanks a lot, Robin. Perfect. Um, so the second one is, we wanted to ask um, what you would like to be called. So we had temporarily dubbed you Change Catalyst, but we've heard a lot of uh, different terms being thrown out there, which is awesome. And uh, maybe it doesn't matter what you're called. So we've got an option there for I don't care. But we just thought we'd ask you for some of your feedback. So some of the, the things that we were thinking were Change Catalyst, change agents, change day ambassadors, um, or certainly anything else that you think of and might like to suggest, we're definitely open to. Um, this will just help us give a name for the meeting and give this group a name too. So take a minute there to answer that one. It's 
It's got half of people answered so far. Good. You guys are great on the WebEx. You're pros. Excellent. Okay, so we've got uh yeah, we've got people in kind of all of the camps here. So What do you think of that, Colleen? Ah, um I'm not seeing the results right now. So where are they landing right now? Oh, okay. Sorry, you can't see those. So we've got uh 36% of people change day ambassadors, 21% change agents, 13% change catalysts, 8% don't care. And we've got 8% oh. saying others. So are there any um, other suggestions that we can put into the chat? So make sure that it's saying uh, that your message is going to go to all participants if you're chatting in suggestions. So I see change champions is another one, change makers, change tologist. <laughs> That's a fun one, Mohammed. Champions for change. Good. Okay, so lots of suggestions here. I wonder if maybe we won't land on something today, or you're certainly free to call yourself whatever you want as well. You know, as you move forward and you're looking at planning different things, um, feel free to go with whatever name feels most natural to you. Um, and then maybe we'll um, we'll decide, we'll figure it out offline, Colleen, what we might want to do for the meetings moving forward. That sounds great. We might even have the option of pulling you again. But thank you so much, everyone, for your thoughts on that. We wanted to make sure this was your group and we didn't just pick your name for you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So um, I'm just going to close this one. There are a couple more responses coming in. And then we'll do the last question. So um, the other thing we were just wanting to know is how would you like us to communicate with you? So we want to make sure that we're helping you stay in touch with each other, but also sharing stories and ideas that you come up with. So um, we'd certainly encourage you to send us any ideas or things that come up for you that you think might be worthwhile for us to share with the whole group. Uh, and we can do that and we can disseminate that. But we're wondering, you know, is newsletter or email the best way? Would you like to have a regular newsletter of some kind? Um, we've got Facebook as well, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Is there any interest in a listserv or Twitter? Maybe all of the above or maybe none of the above. And if there are other suggestions, um, again, please just type them into the chat for us so we can see what those are. Good. Okay, so a lot of support for newsletter and email. And we'll have a bit of uh, more open discussion about this as well in a few minutes. This is good. You guys are doing great with the polls. Thanks for all this feedback. It's really helpful. So uh, another suggestion for a cloud or a SharePoint type of site. Thanks, Jerry. Okay, so um looks like the definitely a lot of support for newsletter and email, so we'll keep that in mind moving forward and um and we'll see if we can figure out some other ways to stay connected as well. Wonderful. Thanks a lot, Robin. Really appreciate you guys giving us some feedback on how you want to work together. Um it's really helpful for us to help uh, move this work forward to hear what you have in mind. Um so Thinking about hearing what you have in mind, um, one thing that I'd love to hear more about, we'd love to hear more about, is some of your ideas. Um, so we met and had a Catalyst Breakfast at the forum, and we had some great participation at that event and some really good ideas. You know, there's some really um, keen eagerness for us to participate. For example, we'll, we'll show you a Facebook group a little bit later in today's call. Um, and that came up the ideas from people at that Change Catalyst Breakfast. Um, but we also wanted to hear your ideas today. And so we're going to leverage some of the uh, possibilities and tools we can use with WebEx right now um, to hear your ideas. So we're going to pull up a whiteboard right now. We're going to encourage you to either write in the whiteboard or in the chat box or speak up. We can unmute the lines now if that's all right, Robin. And wanted to hear your thoughts. And so we'll go through each of these questions right now. We'll start with the first one. We'd love to hear your ideas on different methods that you think we could use for promoting and for those of you who are on the line, we'd like to keep the lines open right now, but if you have a lot of background noise where you are, you would find this muting your 
your line, that would be wonderful. And then just unmuting it yourself with your hoodie. So, Christine, um, I think it's Christine LeClerc. There was quite a bit of background noise there, so I have muted you. But um, if you do want to speak up, just use the little hand icon that we talked about, and I'll unmute you so you can be part of the discussion, okay? Wonderful. Thanks a lot, Robin. So our first question then, and we're going to pull a whiteboard up right away, is what are your thoughts on methods for promoting? So what you can do is just grab um, um, the text option in the WebEx. It's the little T on the top left-hand side there. Pick a color, and you can pick any spot on that whiteboard and just start typing. If you prefer not to enter it there, what you can do is just enter your comment in the chat box, and just make sure when you do that that you select that you're sending it to all participants so they can also hear what you've got to say. Make sure to choose a darker color if you can. I do see SMA, but it's in a pale yellow there. So I'm just going to write that one again in a darker color so everyone can see it. Feel free to speak up as well. Um, most of you aren't muted anymore, so we can have a bit of conversation around this if you like. So we're hearing lots of things coming up here. So can Facebook posts? We've got social media, posters, um, having more breakfast. Yeah, breakfasts are always good. <laughs> Existing workshops, um, news, TV, and radio, um, corporate internet news articles with some great ideas. We've got another one, a couple more on Facebook here. Um, newsletter to all health authorities, um, which is a great idea. I can tell you a little more about that. Um, SMA is showing up here. And now interesting, just if I can speak on a few of these, is the newsletter to all the health authorities. We're actually meeting with the Health Communications um, uh, communications Working Group later this week again. So they are really um, been incredibly supportive of Change ABC, so we'll keep you posted on where that goes. We've got canned articles. We've got discussion boards, um, large organizational forums. Love to hear more about some of these ideas if anyone wants to speak up. We'd really love to hear these ideas and get some good discussion going today. Um, this is Ali from Victoria. Hi, Ali. Uh, How are you doing? Good, good. Um, I'm just falling on that point of the newsletters, and I think one way to be supportive is in the newsletter if they mention in this health authority we have these people who are the change catalyst, <clears throat> then they become sort of the resource person. Yes. And this way, you know, we are then more connected as becoming, you know, a, sort of the people leading this, and people can then get in touch with us and then we sort of get back to you guys who become the me liaisons. Uh, that's a brilliant idea, Ali, and it's funny because I met with some Interior Health last week. They'd asked for a meeting, and when I met with a few folks from that team, um, I offered to send them a list of the catalysts that were from their site. So that's a great suggestion. And since we're meeting with the communications working group, we might be able to pull that list together for them and, and share it to the health authorities so that they know who it is um, for that particular group that... Um, has signed up to be a catalyst. So thank you, great idea. Now the whiteboard is just filling up here. <laughs> I want to catch some of these. So existing professional groups, leverage existing social media. Um, we've got TV, Facebook, Twitter, local and corporate meetings, screen savers, that's a great idea, email distribution lists, lobby booths prior to change day to promote visual awareness, Facebook pages of individual health authorities, um, connect with other special interest groups. Oh, there's overlap there, so I'm not sure I can read that one. Um, Facebook pages of, um, I'm going to miss that, resource links it looks like, word of mouth, um, build up messaging, so weekly messaging, some great ideas. Anyone else? Colleen, it's, um, it's Robin here. I just wanted to say I see uh, quite a few references to telling stories, and I think it might just be good to highlight we absolutely agree. This is such a great way to share what's going on around the province. Um, on the Change Day website, we do have a stories page where we're going to be featuring stuff probably at least every week, and we'd love to hear your stories and sharing from what you're seeing um, so we can include that up there. We might be doing some guest blogging and things like that, so we definitely want to make sure that we're doing our very best to spread those stories of what's happening. Um, so thanks for that suggestion. I think we're really going to try to do that. Fantastic. Good catch, Robin. Um, thank you so much for scanning the list and catching that one. I, I couldn't reiterate more. Um, we've got a ton of 
of opportunity in terms of promoting this um, through various social media, but also we do have that stories page, so please let us know. People, I also see posters are showing up here. For anyone who's not aware, we do have posters that are available for order, but also for download if you want to customize them. We can get you files that you can actually add your own organization's logo to them as well. So you can just let us know what's available there. Ah, I see some people looking for t-shirts. Interesting. Okay. Great to hear. Um, I see in the chat box, we've got Shelly suggesting billboards, bus stop signs. That's another great idea. I'd like to hear from anyone else on this call. Any other questions or thoughts? Very swag. Okay, great. Well, as you can see, um, Scrolling down the list here, we've got a huge um, number of ideas that have come forward here. So what we're going to do is we'll save this list um, and make sure we share it with you as well after today's call. We are recording today's call so everyone knows, so it will be available to listen to afterwards. So you can bring your friends on board for anyone who missed it if they'd like to catch up on what we talked about today. Ah, I see somebody talking about doing a challenge. Um, so I, I'm really glad that you mentioned that, doing a challenge. It's a good segue. We do have some plans around that, um, but I wanted to share some examples. So um, I was talking to one of the divisions of family practice recently, and they're quite keen at doing a challenge to challenge um, each other. So for anyone who doesn't know on the call, there's divisions of family practice, um, which are groups of family practice practitioners, uh, practitioners throughout the province who are organized to, to work in their communities. And um, a number of those divisions have signed up as partners for Change ABC. And they're looking at doing challenges with each other to really kind of keep um, some momentum going around Change Day. So that's a, a great idea there. So I, I, we're going to save these ideas and we'll make sure we get them out to the group as well after today's call. So thank you so much, everyone. So we'll move on to our next question. And that would be, what are some of the supports that could help you? Now, appreciating we may have touched on some of these in our last question, um, would just love to hear your thoughts on what are some other things that we could do to best support you, whether it's in the form of these meetings or other things. So again, please use the whiteboard. Feel free to use the chat. Or I'd love to hear your voice and please speak up. Great. First one down, toolkits, frequently asked questions. Great. Does anyone want to add? Is there anything they'd really love to see in those toolkits in addition to our Getting Started Kit? Other sorts of materials or information that would be helpful for you? Cheerleading is awesome. We can definitely provide that service. Mm -hmm. Has everyone had a chance to look through the Getting Started Toolkit? Maybe this is another chance to use your check mark if you have and your X if you haven't, just so we have an idea of um, where people are at if most people have seen that yet. Perfect. Okay, so some yeses. Um, I'm seeing quite a few no's as well. So we put this toolkit together for you. Really, it's meant to help with all of this sort of early stage stuff and thinking about your planning. We've got templates and stuff available in there to help. Um, and that's available on the Change Day BC website for download as well. It's under the resources link. And we can also send you a couple hard copies of this if you think it would be helpful. So let us know. But a lot of good stuff in there too. Maybe as a follow-up to this meeting, in addition to that suggested tagline that you could pop in your email, um, we're also going to send you um, a link to a resource that we're going to ask you to support. And then last but not least, what we could do is attach a copy, because we have electronic copies of this Getting Started kit, so we can make sure we get it out to all the catalysts so you have it for access to. Perfect. Great idea, Colleen. Uh, nice. So a video from an NHS change catalyst of how they did it there. Um, just that's a perfect timing. There was actually an article in today's, um, on today's NHS change day website that is all about their hubbies and how they organize. So we can send that link to folks. I'm not sure if they have a video, but I can certainly see what we can, we can certainly see what we can pull together and get off to you. 
to share. Um, for those of you who, who didn't have a chance, today is the NHS Change Day, and they're running a massive change-a-thon, and it ran from midnight until noon. And those sessions, I believe, are going to be available to view after um, today. And so it's a great chance to hear about some of those really great success stories. I noticed that The Guardian also had an article today on sort of the top 10 um, projects that emerged out of NHS Change Day this year. And so we could also forward that link on to folks if they're interested. Colleen, yeah. can you hear me? Yes, I sure can. This, this is Kathy. We are in Fraser. Sorry, WebEx is not working for me today. So um, I just wanted to say about NHS Change Day. Um, Twitter has been a rich source of information on NHS Change Day, and I've been watching it since last night. And there's just so many great links and ideas, and it would be fantastic if we could really um, uh, broaden the circle of people who are really involved with using social media such as that, because it's just such an efficient way to share and push out ideas and and grow the momentum around Change Day. And I just love the way the NHS has done that with Twitter. Well, that's a brilliant idea, Kathy. So that's a good segue to a question for the group, and maybe we can use um, uh, a check mark for those who want to do this and an X for maybe those who don't. But would people be interested in us doing a social media session as part of one of our Catalyst meetings? So we bring in our resident expert, it would be Kevin Smith, to give us a little bit of a mini workshop on using social media. So how about folks, if you want to vote on that one, tick marks if you think that would be a great idea, and an X if you don't think you'd want to attend that. Oh, got lots of tick marks here. A couple X's. Yeah, and for a tick, please, Colleen, Kathy here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, that sounds great. So what we could do is build that into one of our sessions to, to kind of be building that capacity, or it could be an extra session that we offer to the Catalyst in addition to our meetings. Um, so mm -hmm. we'll, pl we'll plan for that. That's a great idea, Kathy. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. Could I share one other thing while I'm, while I'm thinking of it? Um, somebody in our health authority, our, um, our lead for professional practice, has already uh, connected with um, the, one of the schools of nursing. And I was just wondering whether we have really good reach out into the academic community where we have um, our up-and-coming healthcare leaders um, engaged in their education programs right now and whether or not there's something we could do to support involving them, you know, in this Change Day initiative as well, or do we, do we already have that base covered? You know, Kathy, um, we have a massive list of connections that we have, and, and a lot of those nursing, medical programs, et cetera, are people we're connecting with. Having said that, I think we can always reach further and farther, and sometimes a call from a local community, so calling the local college in the city that you live in or the local university in the city you live in can have a lot more power than a, a call coming from somebody uh, farther away. So I actually think that's a brilliant idea, and I'd love to hear people's thoughts on, on engaging with that particular group, so those education folks. Um, you know, whether it is university education or even, you know, what do we want to do mm -hmm. even for our high school students, et cetera. Yes. So mm -hmm. um, nursing programs, medical schools, what else? So what are people's thoughts on how we might be able to link in with them? So I think this is an example of where we'll really be looking to you as well. I mean, we're doing what we can certainly within the council, but this won't – we really need your help in connecting with other people because we all have different networks and we all have different ways of contacting people. So we're really a, a joint community on this project, and the council is certainly here to support you in any way that we can. Um, but we're hoping that this will be a really broad movement where all of you reach out to the people that you know as well. That's a great idea. We'll do some brainstorming around that here in Fraser, Robin and Colleen, and uh, share that with, with everyone as well. Thank you so much, Kathy. And I just see some notes on this in the chat box as well. So thanks so much to everyone. They say, great idea to link with a student. So any of you who have that opportunity to link with students, to link with your, your universities, local colleges, please do. Same thing from Anna Brazer. Just 100% uh, agree with reaching out to academic institutions. And I think the more we can do that, the better. So thank you very much for all of you for mentioning those. Great idea. So we're really looking for your support. So any suggestions and ideas and ways you can help extend that reach, we'd love that. So that's really what we're hoping to do and partner with you on. 
Um, there's also, I noticed somebody commenting on safety quality member support. I'd love to hear more about that. And, and are you thinking support from your local quality teams within your organizations? Just like to hear that a little more on that one. If anyone wants to add to that one. Any thoughts on that one or anything someone wants to add with just connecting to your local quality folks within your, your organizations? Or, you know, we've got people like Kathy on the line. Any suggestions for good strategies for doing that, Kathy? Great. This doesn't sound like there's a lot more to add on that one, um, but building momentum, great. That's a good question. We're going to go to that one soon, so we'll move on and take that as a perfect segue. Um, so the next question is maintaining the momentum. So your thoughts on, on things that we can do as a group um, individually to maintain the momentum over the course of this long campaign. So again, I'll invite you to speak up, use the chat box, or wait on, write on the whiteboard. back there. Um, so it sounds like we're getting fewer comments at this stage in the game, so maybe we've asked too many questions to you so far. <laughs> so we might just wrap up our questions for the day. Um, really, our, our biggest question really is, is what you want from these meetings. Um, so the question there, maintain the momentum. So somebody suggested monthly meetings will help to maintain the momentum. Certainly we'll keep these meetings going. And um, since we're kind of on that question, if there's anything that you'd like to see coming out of these meetings, please let us know as well. Um, so for those of you who, who want to just pop something up on the whiteboard, that's great. So great question. Always the biggest challenge was sustainment. Okay, wonderful. All right. I think we're getting a little quieter on our whiteboard chatter, so we're going to wrap up our questions for the, today's call. Um, and I'm just going to add it over to Andy right now. Are you on the line, Andy? Are you ready to talk about yeah. our Facebook page? <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Um, so right now we have um, sort of two entities on Facebook. So we have a community page, which is just meant for um, us to help promote Change Day and um, to share a lot of our patient stories and let you guys know what's new, what's coming on. But we also set up a Facebook group for our Change Day ambassadors. <laughs> so you guys are free to join the group, and it's really meant to be um, just like we're doing today, like an informal sort of brainstorming session. and. Um, there are discussion boards and forums that we can all participate and share ideas. Um, if you guys are challenged with something about promoting change today on your site, um, yeah, I encourage you guys to uh, post your questions on the Facebook group, and we'll either answer you here from the council or hopefully someone else who had held like uh, something successful at their organization can also um, write a comment in. So, um, yeah. If you guys just needed some more um, immediate feedback, um, we created a group for you guys. Wonderful. Any questions for Andy about the Facebook group? I'll just post a link here so you guys can have a look. So what we'll do as a follow-up to today's call, in addition to sending you some of the things we've talked about already to date, we'll also send you a link to the Facebook group 
And we really would like to encourage and invite you to, to join that group as a place that we can post and share information. Um, just, I, I know I mentioned this at the start of the call, but I'll just reiterate is that when we had our change day breakfast, um, the request for a group really came out of, out of that breakfast meeting. They really wanted to see how we could possibly use Facebook as a way of communicating. I know there's some folks in the line who are also big Twitter users. Um, we're also having a presence on Twitter for change day as well. Um, but as Facebook group, we'll send you the link and we invite you, if you're interested, to actually join the group and check out the community. Um, you can access our Facebook community right from our regular Change Day BC website. Um, and then you can also have an opportunity to um, link into the Facebook group from that page as well. So we've asked you a million and ten questions today. We've had some polls. We've had um, some questions about your ideas around promoting, support, maintaining momentum. So really like to hear from you in terms of if you have any questions, um, any questions or anything you would like to add. This is our very first meeting, um, but really like to hear from you. Any questions, anything you'd like to add uh, right now. Um, Colleen, it's Kathy, given that there's, I don't know if people are putting things on the chat, but thinking that as we start to um, get some um, experience with living our own pledges, bringing them um, along, that it would be fun to kind of share some of the experiences that we're having with those and how we can use our own experience in modeling change day pledges um, to build momentum for change day and to inspire others to to make pledges because it's one thing to kind of tell the stories online and to have have um, it you know posted on the website and the Facebook page but is there is there a way that we can even encourage each other through our role as catalysts yeah I would love that Kathy um, I think that would be absolutely wonderful if we could have that opportunity to do exactly that so use these meetings in that way so you know if you're, if you're doing something really neat and you want to share it with a group if we hear about it we might ask you to present or please let us know we'd love to have you share what you're doing on these calls we have a lot of people on these calls so we know it'll be tough to do a round table but we'd love to feature say you know just this Fraser Health want to share what they're doing. I'm going to pick on you right now, Kathy, because that's where you're coming from. Um, Interior Community Services, if you're on the call right now, is there something that you're doing that you really want to share? So there's different organizations that are on the call um, today that are represented the different folks. We'd love to hear that. And I think that's a brilliant idea, Kathy. Thank you. Other folks on the call today? Any other questions or thoughts before we wrap up today? <laughs> it's a very quiet group. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, well, just appreciating that everyone's got full days. I'm sure that they've taken their time to attend today's meeting. Um, we really wanted to thank you very much for joining us as a catalyst. Um, we have a list, so what we'll do is we'll distribute the information following this meeting. We'll make sure we post it both on, both on the Facebook page as well as send it out via email to folks. Um, per our poll today, it looks like our next meeting will be roughly a month from today, so we'll make sure we get that invitation out. And in the interim, if anyone has any ideas at all about something they'd like to share that they're doing in their community, or if we have our ears to the ground and hear something happening, we'll be inviting folks to come and share a little bit about what they're doing to promote Change Day in their areas. Just before we wrap up, is there anyone else? Robin, uh, Andy, anything else you wanted to add? Or anyone else on the call? Um, I'm just saying, Justin, thanks for that great suggestion. Uh, awesome idea. So Justin wrote that it's a great idea to connect with each other, and what about randomized coffee trials? So that's something that we would love to explore. Um, as many of you may have experienced at the pre-forum day with Helen Bevan in February, um, we did this, and basically the idea is that it's just a random assignment to two people to connect. Um, where you might not otherwise know each other or have an opportunity to chat, and we can definitely arrange something like that if it's of interest with the group. 
Um, Because oftentimes we know that learning comes from areas where we're not expecting it or we think maybe that there's nothing in common. And actually when we take the time to talk about something just briefly, we may find that we get some good ideas. So great suggestion, Justin. Thank you for that. Yeah, that's I awesome. Agree if you guys more. have any more um, ideas, like definitely share them on on like the Catalyst group page. Um, I think it'd be great to like see what you guys are doing. Um, yeah, and if you guys have any questions, also you have the option of like asking questions and creating your own polls in the in the Facebook group. So um, I just encourage you guys to to use that to your advantage as well. Justin, I love the idea of the randomized coffee trials, and I think you will not have much resistance from this group at all helping to move that forward. Um, and the other thing I wanted to just leave a little teaser with you all today is that we do have something in the plans right now, a bit of a friendly competition, uh, a fun but friendly competition that we're exploring, building for the Catalyst, um, some way of integrating the work we're all doing um, that's aligned with what we're trying to do in terms of promoting change to ABC. So there will be more on that to come in the upcoming meetings, so we'll keep you posted on that one. Um, anything else before we wrap up today? I just, on behalf of Robin, Andy, and myself, and all the catalysts, um, really want to say thank you very much for taking the time to join us today. As I mentioned, this call will be recorded and we'll make sure it's posted on the site. And we really look forward to connecting with you again in about a month. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Settle, 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 settle.